In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to apply a gradient fill and then how to edit that gradient fill to a piece of text or some objects. As you can see, gradient fills are the blending of colours between each other over a given object like this one here. And to better demonstrate this, I'll draw out a square as so. I want to apply a gradient fill to this square. So I come over to this flyout here, which is my fill styles flyout. I click on that and I come down to and I click on gradient fill and my gradient editor comes up. Now in the left hand column here I have some gradients I can select from. These are like uh, gradient uh, palettes and I can scroll down these and I can click on any one of these I'm interested in and I can see how its nodes are particularly working so I get a bigger preview of it down here. So to apply a gradient fill I select the one I like as this one here. I come down and I click on accept and that's applied automatically to the object I had selected. Now if I want to edit this gradient fill, I can come back over here to the same flyout, come down and click on gradient fill. And you'll notice that it opens in the edit gradient tab. And that's because the program recognises that I've got a gradient fill selected in a particular object. And it presents that to me in this particular view. Now down here in the preview again we've got these nodes. And these nodes represent these colours in this preview here. I can slide these around like this and position them where I really want, want to put them. Another thing I can do is if I select this say red colour, I can come up here and I can change the colour ch uh, channel it's working in so I could make it LAB and I can slide these sliders around and these ones and I can actually alter its colour as you can see what I'm doing here. And I can also type in numeric values if I happen to know which ones I want to work with. So I can work in any of these colour channels and adjust this colour as I need to or as I want to. So that's the way we do that. Now I can also set the uh, alpha or the transparency value of this particular node that I've got selected so I can make it totally see-through if I wanted to, as you can see there. If I click accept and I put that above there, you can see what's happening here. So it's made that node transparent. It's a very handy tool to have, but I'll come back and explain to you some, some ways of using that in a moment. Let's come back to the uh, gradient fill editor here. We'll just set that back to um, fully opaque so it's a full colour. Now if I want to adjust this colour here I can use, I can click on this swatch and I can use the uh, colour mixer here. So I could use this tool here and I could change the colour as I wanted to. It was a sort of red colour. and click apply. And you can see the colour has been applied here like that. I can also click on this fly out and just select a more of a default colour swatch like that. Now if I want to change this colour to another colour within the gradient or one of these other nodes, that's very easy as well. So I want to change this node to, say, this yellow colour. So what I do is I select the node, I come over to this tool, which is the Select and Add Colour tool, click on that, and I click on this node, this yellow node, to make this node yellow. So I click on that, and you can see how that node becomes yellow. If I wanted to make it one of these bluey-green colours, that's easy, I just click on the same tool, come down, and I select, oh yes, that's, that's what the colour I want to make it, and as you can see, it's updated it. So changing the colour of these nodes is very, very easy just like that. You can also reverse the direction of the nodes by clicking on the advanced tool and coming down to reverse nodes. As you can see it reverses the nodes and back again like that. If I wanted to, to delete this node I just select on it and I click delete. Simple as that. If I want to add a node back here I simply click on the add node tool here, come to where I want to add a node, click on it like that and it adds a node based on the current colour that's in there. Then I can make that back to my red colour again. So it's easy to adjust each node's colour very straightforward and it's very easy to position each node and also delete nodes and add nodes and manipulate them as you need to. You can also change their position numerically up here using this tool. You can change the angle of the gradient, so in other words the way the gradient's going. So I can change it like that as you can see. So I can go to any angle I want and I can type in a value. I can rotate it in blocks of 90 like that. I can even change the type of gradient. I can make it a circular gradient square gradient or a conical gradient. I can change it from being symmetrical to a single uh, conical fill. So these are the sorts of tools I have available to me in this, this toolbar here. So if I want to apply a gradient I simply select the one I want and click accept and there's the gradient there. I can then go into fill mode and I can also edit the gradient as well and you can see these, these nodes that come up. So and when I am actually in fill mode, you'll see, and I've got a gradient selected, you'll see in the second row of tools all the gradient tools up here. And once again, I can click on this tool, and this brings up the gradient editor, 
and I can change the gradient to say this one again and again I can change these nodes. I can change the type of gradient here and you'll see this gives me, it gives me all these different options. So on the uh, conical gradient here like this I can say position this down like so and I can change the position of these nodes as you can see on the screen and I could change the colour for example. I could come here and make that say oops sorry wrong one select on that one there and I can make that say yellow as you can see. So I can manipulate these I can spin this around like this I can move it into any position I want I can rotate it as, a, as so we can skew it there are a lot of controls here when I click off it you can see you can make basically an infinite range of, uh, of gradient effects and, and uh, using these tools here. So that's generally how those tools work. And one other thing I want to show you actually there's two things. There's that masking thing I wanted to show you and I'm also going to show you this first. So I come down to gradient fill okay, and there's a button down here copy from image. Now what that means if I click on that you'll get this gradient maker tool come up now I can come here and I can load an existing image and you can see I've got all these images in here and I click on this one here and I like this sort of flow, this sort of colour effect here so I click open and what I can do is I can come to this brush tool and I can click here Oops. sorry I was just selected the wrong node there and I can position that where I want and you can see what it's doing it's actually copying that this from this point to this point here it's actually copying that to this preview here and showing me and if I include some of this grass down here you can see it's coming in now so I can actually just got to be able to click right on that node you can actually create your own gradients from existing images which is a very handy thing to have to be able to do that so I can position that I want a bit of that white in there and you can see how it smooths it out I can increase the amount of node points I've got and I can make it more and more intricate and more detailed depending on how I want to do it. So I might say, okay, well, I like that gradient like that. So I'll just add a bit more of this colour in there. And I can just click accept and you can see it brings that in as a gradient there. And if I click accept again, I've now got that image as a gradient fill. So that's really a handy tool to making your own gradients. So you click on copy from image you load any image you like as such and you click on this tool here and you select this node out I can't see it here properly oh there we go and you can create your own your own um, gradient fill as so now the other thing I wanted to show you was the how the masks work and the uh, the transparency so I've got this image here now I might want to apply a gradient over this so that it actually goes from almost uh, solid through to see through. So I draw out a square like this, a rectangle. I position it above that like that. And then what I'd do is I'd select that square and I'd come to the uh, gradient fill tool and I'd go to my masks. And when you click on these, you'll see what's happening here. It's going from absolutely solid through to absolutely see through. And there's variations of this, different types of these, as you can see. So if I selected this one and click accept, you can see what's happening. It's going from the bottom up to there like that. Now if I come back here and I actually rotate this, so I'll go from left to right for argument's sake, you can see now that the left hand side is quite blanked out up to fully see through on this side. And of course I can adjust this because I can go to fill mode and I can, I can add a node here and I can drag this out and I can change how I want this to look. So I can effectively create a linear gradient fill or a, lin a linear uh, transparency effect over an image or over a piece of text or another object by using this gradient uh, fill tool like that. So that's another handy thing you can do with this particular tool. And that's uh, gradient fills.